Welcome to Spotlight on St. John's. I'm your host, Brian Brown. Well, science professor Brian Brown says the furor is far from normal. It's something we normally don't see. The judiciary is traditionally an independent, co-equal branch of government, and uh, this kind of rhetoric, whether it's Republican side or the Democratic side, it's inappropriate. What we've seen over the years is this growing trend of people criticizing the judiciary or weighing in um, inserting partisan politics into these legal matters, which really shouldn't happen. In the charge here for the Democrats and with us this morning here on the set to weigh in on these proceedings are Brian Brown, adjunct professor of political science and head of government relations at St. John's University. And Bahar Azmi, legal director of the Center for Constitutional Rights. We want to thank you both for joining us. So as we wait to get these hearings underway and watch it unfold live before us, this is a historic moment. So let me start with you, Brian. What are you expecting to hear today? I think it's going to be some high political theater. The hearings are moving out of the basement of the Capitol, and now they'll be widely televised, and there's a chance for the American people to learn more about the inquiry. I think this is a case where the movie, the televised hearings, might be better than the book, the written transcripts, and I think that's what the American people will be watching. Mayor de Blasio dons his Superman cape to save New York in the State of the City address. Here to break it all down are CBSN New York's urban affairs expert Mark Peters and Brian Brown, Assistant Vice President in Government Relations at St. John's University. Brian. The mayor of America's largest city appeared rather small, and perhaps that looming big whale looming overhead was a good metaphor for a lame duck mayor. So you, you, what, what most about it did you find good or bad? I think some of the issues on fossil fuel, the environmental ideas, some of them that are still 20 years out from implementation are all good ideas. But as Mark said, it, it seemed like a, rather a strange approach for someone who's in their seventh year and their administration has a lot to be accountable for. Since de Blasio, Mayor de Blasio took office that there had been such a huge rise in so many crime categories, five of the seven major crime categories rose. I wonder what you think the political ramifications are for Mayor de Blasio over this spike in crime? Well, I don't think one month makes a trend, but it's certainly the numbers are concerning. Um, Double-digit increases in many of the categories. And I think that the bigger problem is the public perception. Um, Mayor de Blasio does not enjoy a great relationship with law enforcement. He does not seem like a tough-on-crime type of mayor. And I think these st statistics are very concerning, especially to people in, in the outer boroughs. And, and there's, it's certainly something that we have to monitor. Students gathered at St. John's University on Monday to talk about how broken windows affects their communities. Over the summer, we saw two high-profile incidents of broken windows theory in action at Ferguson and Missouri and Staten Island. And we wanted our students to have a conversation about what is broken windows theory, what is better community policing, and how does it all come together under their basic civil rights. So this is not your grandfather's St. John's University, and I think it's worth pointing that out. I mean, you've done a lot of work on that campus. It's just a gorgeous place now. And thank you for saying that. And when you're there every day like I am, you kind of get used to it. But it I really is a beautiful scenic campus. It was once the Hillcrest Golf Course, so we have the kind of the lush green grass and hills beautiful view of the Manhattan skyline in the distance, and it really is. The university has put a lot of resources towards capital improvements, new technology, modern classrooms, and, and as you said, it's, it's really a beautiful place to be and a beautiful place to live. We have residential life for students who want to come, commuter students still, a lot going on. From the Queens campus of St. John's University, I'm Brian Brown. Thanks for watching.